Peter Dollis. Yes, how brother. Are how are you going? I'm well. Long time no see. Just uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions about uh, your career in Kyokushin and uh, of course. some of the things you might have done and not done and mm. how you feel about it today. You know? Okay, uh, just, a, just a little profile. Just give me a little profile of yourself and uh, how long you've been doing it mm. and the likes. And, uh, well, probably nearly 45 years. I started when I was about 13. I worked it out at about 46, I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I started at uh, Burley with Frank Everett. Uh, after seeing the old Bruce Lee movie for the first time. <laughs> uh, I think that set off a bit of a frenzy for the martial arts at yeah. the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you're still... And I've um, just been, I've been, I guess I just sort of slotted into that niche. I just enjoyed it and uh, enjoyed the hard training and and just persevere think, with it. Do you think it was harder back then when uh, when, when you started than it is today? Um, or do you think it's more ordered or it's not as chaotic? I think it depends on who you're with. Like, um, instructors vary even within a style and everyone's sort of focuses on something a little bit different. Yeah. Um, no, I think, uh, well, it comes back to yourself, really, what, what effort you're putting in. So how, what, what age were you when you started? Oh, I would have been about 14, I think. 14, so. that's mm. young. Mm. So have you sort of got your going on that, like, uh, was it your parents? Or? Well, uh, Dad took us along to see the Bruce Lee movie, and and uh, we took it from there. He, he suggested... So that impressed you, did it? Well, it was his idea to go along and have a look at uh, this martial arts class that uh, one of his work colleagues participated in, you know, Colin Greatrix. And uh, I remember on the first night that I was there, he was sparring with Tony Bowden. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, little Colin, he was so nimble, he actually he tipped over at one stage, but then crawled between Tony's legs <laughs> <laughs> and jumped up behind him. Oh, mate, he was quick. He was. Yeah, he it was, was quite Colin, funny. Colin, yes, yes, he was. But well, you know, like as for as from those days to today, what's the difference? Is there any difference? In, you know, like of course there's a difference. You're a fourth dan now, and you've been doing it for 46 years. Mm. And uh, yes, there should be some. There should be some change, or or is there any change? Uh, you mean in the style or? Yes, it, yeah. not, not in the style, of course, but in the in the way in the way it's uh, learned, the way the basics are practiced. Has a lot. Of, has there been a lot of changes in that sort of area? Or? I think that well, myself, basics are always important, and um, I've always been a big believer in that. Um, and I think that it was your your traits that kept me on that path. Right. Um, um, things have changed a little bit, um, but once again, it depends on the instructor. So your influences back then would have been Frank Everett and... Uh, uh, and yourself. And myself, yes. Mm. Who else? Uh, well, any, uh, peers, else my peers, the, uh, the killers. The, the Growing up next to the killers. The Kilpatricks. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, their nickname Patrick's. was the killers. So they, they, they sort of spurred you on a little bit, didn't they? they well, we travelled together. Yeah. And um, and they uh, Pete got through to Black Belt. Um, not sure where Scotty got to, Green, Senior Green or something or other. Yeah. But so uh, they were know, big boys, weren't they? Yep. They were yeah. big boys back in the day. They punched hard and kicked hard. Yeah, yeah, they still like playing hard. I think Pete's motto is uh, work like a captain, party like a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you're 59, how's your body holding up? Um, I'm surprised uh, and happy that um, I'm still doing quite well, still quite agile, and um, you know, apart from dislocations and a couple of broken bones, um, I'm still pretty agile. Mm. So you're still you're still out there striving, or you, do, you, do you train harder these days, or is it not so hard? Um, well, when I was uh, taking the class, we used to go for like two hours plus, 
Uh, but the classes have reduced a little bit because I think it's just people's attention spans and, and mm. or like you, you maybe might push more into a shorter time. Yeah. Do you feel like, um, you know, Kyokushin has been hard for you or has it been easy for yeah. you? Kyokushin, um, the style of karate, has it been hard mm. or easy? Well, I haven't tried other styles, <laughs> and um, so, so pretty prejudiced well, I mean, it, it, we're we're well, told it's so. you know, it's such a strong style, and we, we have competed against some other styles and found that we were stronger than than their their abilities. I think um, I think it's a bit like birds of a feather flock together. Yeah. You know, people fit what into was, the What niche. was it like Andrew, when you went to Japan to, to do your fourth dan grading? Mm. What was it like? And uh, is it still the traditional Kyokushin that you, yeah, or is it uh, something else? Yeah, no, it was all pretty much the same. Like the basics were the same, and um, yeah. the class was quite strong, and, um, and it does sort of nut out the, the people that aren't mm. up to the the cause. Mm. There could, was, you give us a, could you give us a brief rundown, like a, what's your philosophy on Kyokushin, how did it happen, what's it done for you, uh, what, how's it made you sort of uh, go forward in life? Mm. Um, well I'll just the consistent training for me uh, kept me fit, I had a fairly physical job for a lot of years doing landscaping and so I felt... served you pretty well in Japan when you went through grading? Ah uh, yes, yeah, uh, definitely. Well, well, I trained pretty hard for that, for that grading, and uh, was a little bit concerned going to Japan over that. I thought I uh, might cop a bit of a flogging there, but um, so you were happy with the outcome. Yeah, yeah. I actually should have gone harder myself. I was a bit worried some Neanderthal bloke was going to step out from behind the curtain. <laughs> if I was going too hard, <laughs> I'd deal with you. <laughs> uh, yes, it's uh, the general thing at black belt ratings. If you're doing too well, that someone comes in to slow you up a bit. Right. <laughs> uh, so, you, are you still uh, cultivating a spirit of self denial and striving for a firm and shaking spirit in your body? Yes, I. I well, I still train hard and. And I, I think there's no other way, really. You can't be not putting in the effort. Mm. Um, and there is still... But you would agree that you've slowed down somewhat? Oh, yes, yes. The, um, uh, the, the, work, the colleagues at the club... Are wearing you down? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, Gradually. Uh, I have to be on my guard. We had an inkling yeah. of that when we saw you on Sunday, so... Yeah. We at the club then. Which was quite interesting for us, and there's a whole lot of stuff on that with the including in this as well. So, well, it wasn't a full-on no, like not, uh, not tournament not. training. We, was, we, were, uh, we were sort of heading. There was some good. Uh, yeah, some it was good, just just a mediocre pace. There was some good uh, things came out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I ended up um, sporting some bruised ribs out of that. Yeah, we are going to it. Yeah, well, mate, that was that was a bit of a shock. Was that unexpected? Or was that, <laughs> <laughs> that was a beautiful technique. He jumped up, did a spinning back kick in the midair. It was uh, and caught me right up underneath here. I don't know yes. how he got his heel right the hell up there. Yes, well, there you go. And uh, it was actually a previous injury that just let go. Do you think the, the kids that are coming up now and the, the people that are coming up now, they're they're um, I wouldn't, wouldn't say better. Are they strong? Are they? They got good technical abilities. Are they? You know, they, they look pretty good. In your mind, are they that? They like that, or? Well, all those people on Sunday were all experienced. Yeah, so they're all a yes. bit of a family now, but by now, for, for, for oh yeah, years. yeah, all those all those fellas were, were seasoned fighters. Yeah, and um, yeah, they're coming along really well. Yeah. and uh, as I said before, a bit like. Birds of a feather flock together. Yes, that's right. You know, a strong style is difficult to keep students because you just, you know, it's not their piece of, a lot of, a lot of people, you know, they just don't handle that sort of training. Yeah. And, 
But anyway, we, I do. I enjoy training hard and. and well, that's obvious. That's obvious because mm. you're always smiling when you're mm. when you're doing killer shit or when you're doing karate. Have you ever sustained any really serious injuries? You said no. No. Well, broken nose, dislocations. Um, uh, no really major bones broken except for my nose. No, no, no way that's I, do. <laughs> I can't I can't figure too many emotions that are coming to you along the way or you've never got really emotional about your machine, have you? Emotional as in as in uh, you know, like uh, loving it to bits or, oh. or you know, emotionally as in tears. <laughs> as it brought you to tears. Uh, it has brought me to tears once. It was um, a grading we had. And uh, I think old Tony Bowden smashed me across the floor <laughs> and I ended up with a bit of hyperventilation out of that. Uh, actually, I think my chest is a little bit distorted from still, that. Still distorted <laughs> to this day. <laughs> actually, and it might even be one of those punches that uh, has the remnants from... The remnants from that was dislocated on Sunday. Mm. Where do you see yourself going forward now, Peter? With 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 you know, do you see anything in the next uh, the next few years that uh, you want to achieve, or anything like that? Oh, mate, uh, are you going I don't to, really set to go for another grade. I, I don't really set myself those sort of goals, and, and unless I'm really content with it, I, you know, it took me about twenty years to go from second dan to third dan. Yeah. Um, so I think those sort of things is well, you, you have to in one respect set a goal because otherwise you're just sort of tootalooing along but uh, that's my character I just I just keep plodding along and, and I've enjoyed just continuing training and uh, a lot of people drop in and out for different reasons and, and just well last year when Covid hit I was actually training pretty solid to go to Japan for a um, major tournament and when COVID hit, I just pulled up and went from training really hard to doing nothing for seven or eight months. And I just um, felt like I needed a break right there and then. So it worked out fine and, and it was a little bit difficult to get back into training. Mm -hmm. And over the years, you, you bump into people in the street and they say, oh, I'm going to get back to training. And you go, I wish I had a dollar for every time I heard that. That's right. And then they say, straight after that, I'm just going to get fit first. Yes. And you go, I wish I had a dollar for every yeah. time I heard that. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And anyway, so I was using that excuse myself just as a joke. But yeah, I um, finally uh, made the, turned the corner and uh, got back to training. And did find it quite difficult at first, uh, how much my fitness had dropped in that time yeah. uh, and of course the age factor kicking in mm. so um, you'll be 60 this year yeah 60 where's that that's in, in late, late november late november yeah. Yeah. yeah 60 years old so i suppose that'll be 60 fights in the dojo yeah, that's our little thing. Well, we joke about it, but... <laughs> <laughs> 61 minutes, so, guys. Make it just one hour. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's a bit of a feat, really, to do that. I mean, and, and be serious fights. Uh, like, they're not... In the class, we're not really trying to hurt each other. Just to try and score a point without breaking bones. And finally, are you happy? Happy with uh, my position in, in training? Yeah, I am. You know, you're happy with the way you're treated? Just... Because uh, you're treated with uh, extreme respect and... Uh, you know, from all yeah, uh, I really think they ever do it. Uh. Well, <laughs> that's, that's your prerogative to think that, I suppose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's their prerogative to do what they do. Now, the students in the class are really quite experienced in their... Uh, you know, they have to be concentrating to stay in touch um, and like and my fitness has dropped a bit and, and I, you know, I just don't spend enough time to really get that back. I think it's probably a little bit harder at this age to get that fitness right oh, yes, back. Yes. Yeah. Well thanks Peter Coles, thanks for the little chat. Yep, Talks, not a problem. Talk again soon.
Well, we'll uh, for the 60th, we'll have an event for the 60th. Yes, sounds good. Big event, all weekend.